here and with me I have Stefano Presenza and Gabriel Vizzi. And so these guys are magicians. They're in fact the dueling magicians. And I just um, have the privilege of going to their show. So tell me, how long have you guys been doing that one? I'm not stepping with that one. Uh, uh, I've been doing magic since I was a kid, and then I, you know, I got. So I'm one of those people that has lots of hobbies, and I uh, go away from them and revisit them. And then, uh, yeah, completely I've been doing some crazy stuff inspired by my cousin here. And, uh, so you guys are family. Are you doing magic together as kids? No, definitely not. Um, I saw Stefan doing magic. Well, pretty much my whole life, I guess. And uh, it was only about five years ago that he did some... There was this piece of magic that just really bothered me that I didn't know how he did it. So uh, I went and learned how to do it. And then from there I told him I learned how to do it. And, and so we started playing together from there. And so why dueling? Well, just because uh, what happens is... Uh, so Gabriella actually does a lot of hypnosis and mentalism. And I do a lot of magic and escapes. So. And uh, we have shows where we combine things, as you saw. And it's just kind of a fun one-upsmanship kind of thing, and just to see who's better. But really, he's awesome, you know, and he inspires me. He's a quick learner, so you know, he's, he's looking at him. I mean, you should see, you should see what he's hypnotized people to do. I'm laughing because when you said because he's awesome, I thought you were going to say, and I'm awesome. <laughs> well, <laughs> never you didn't. Nah, I thought you would. So apparently, the book. And it's so, some reactions from the who, crowd. After, you know, like, sure. Cool, so, right. who are some of your uh, mentors or idols? Well, uh, this is tough. As, as for mentors, I mean, I hang out with musicians and mentors and hypnotists in Toronto. Um, and, I mean, they convene in different places around the world. So, we all hang out. I mean, as for specific people, uh, not necessarily mentors, but yeah, there are a lot of uh, a lot of bigger names out there who, uh, who we aspire to. Off the top of my head, I don't, there are too many of them, I think, to really pick one. I wouldn't do the others justice if I just picked one person. So long. Do you have any, any, any My cousin! He's amazing! Yeah. So, yeah, Thank no, you. but, uh, you know, I mean, I, when I was a kid, I saw a magician, I don't even know his name, but it inspired my dad. My dad took me to see this magician, and ironically, I was supposed to get, you know, sell tickets, but I was too young to understand what was going on. I just gave him all the free. So, well it was sold out, but he didn't make any money. <laughs> so, yeah. Terrible marketing. So, yes. Yeah. So, um, what's your next uh, kid? Uh, well, we perform as solo artists as well. Okay. So, uh, he's uh, from Sudbury, but based out of Toronto. Mm -hmm. And I uh, do a lot of things locally, and so we try and do as many things as we can. And, uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, right. Any shows coming up? Um, yeah, as, a, as dueling magicians, we don't have anything booked right now. Right. Um, other than private stuff, that we can public. But, um, yeah, in Toronto, if you're there, um, so come, come check it out, Black Swan. You can check out the website. I've actually been there. Oh, for real? Yeah. Black Swan. Okay, cool. Yeah. What did you see there? Um, tell you after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Off the record. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and so you guys have a website. Do you want to share with the folks your website? Address? Yeah, so it's duelingmagicians.com, and uh, it's just one L, duelingmagicians.com. We're both there. There's links to our own individual websites as well. And, uh, yeah. Social media, Facebook, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, totally. Hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. Um, search for Dueling Magicians or either of our two names and you'll yeah. find everything you can find. Perfect. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Do you have anything else to add? We just uh, love the audience. It was awesome. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for the interview. Yeah. Thanks for the interview. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 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 So we're just um, here at Science North, Adult Fun Night. Watching the magicians, they're doing a few little magic tricks, and um, so we were here. And let's see, let's see what's going to happen here. Gonna, she was going to pick the Queen of Hearts, but she didn't. Absolutely not. The tennis page, you come in with that card one more time. Everyone, say it out loud or change it to be one, two, three, what is it? The tennis page, we don't know each other technically. <laughs> technically. Here we go. What did I do? I tossed up the cards in the air. Hold on. You called out one card. And you called out which card? Tennis page. So somewhere in here, there should actually be, I think it's somewhere around here or something. I don't know. Yeah, there's one card actually out of all these cards. Let's flip it over. Just want to grab that card. Slowly, turn it over. It's <laughs> Wow. 
Okay, so do you know this Not guy? Everything. No. Did he actually pick your card for real? Yes. The Queen of Hearts. Are you impressed by that? That's so weird. A little bit, yeah. Hold on to this. So, did you guys see the show? Yes, we did both of them. That's the card I picked earlier, so that's why I said tennis spades. But I didn't think, because he didn't say, like, I had the tennis spades earlier. He just named a bunch of the cards. So, I don't know. So, what did you think of the show earlier? Oh, it was really good. It was really neat. They were really, like, interactive with everyone. And they were just, all the tricks were really, like, unexpected. It was cool. I liked it. What trick did you like the best? Oh, there was one where he put the string in his mouth and he, like, pulled it out his eye. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pulled the thread out his eye. That was, it was neat and it was really, like, cringy, but you couldn't help but watch, you know, <laughs> so it was good. <laughs> what's your name? Bernadette. And what's your name? Danielle. Raven Knight here, enchanting and enhancing your life.